What's up everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with another Warframe Guide video and in this video we will be looking at the Parasesis and with all possible builds you guys can use with this weapon. Before we get into the builds, let's take a look at the appearance real fast. I have the Parasesis Elixir skin and the holster style would be the Greatsword Hip Holster. Now when it comes to the builds, I'm going to show you guys the builds of the weapon and then I'm going to explain a little bit about the build and then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the damage and I'm going to keep going until I have no more builds left to show. Start off with the ribbon version here and this is the 56.8 heat, 115 to critical chance and 36 to attack speed. anti sentient guess uh, damage doesn't really matter since I'm trying to go for crits most of the time here since, uh, well it's crits, I mean it's 152 critical chance and 4.9 critical multiplier is pretty bad. Uh, I can replace this with Gladiator Might if I want to. But uh, I think I'm going to stick with Prime Reach for now. Alright, so here's the damage for this uh, weapon here, or this build. Alright, so keep in mind that this is uh, made just to kill sentience, but obviously when it comes to the damage, it's not that great. I mean, it's level 170, so I, I would say it's okay. Now, the reason why I don't have Gladiator Might, obviously I want to kill sentience. This is just to prepare for the new war that's coming up, or should be coming up. I mean, come on, I'm waiting for that thing for like, ever. I'm still waiting for those sentient war going on here, so I'm pretty damn sure there's going to be a lot of sentients we're going to be fighting against, and that's why I have the Prime Reach. But if I notice that there's not going to be a lot of sentients out there, I'm going to sw swap out my Prime Reach for the Glider Mine for the extra critical damage, even though there's going to be diminishing returns on the uh, uh, critical damage multiplier. So I'm going to show you guys the second build here. Alright, so here is the second build. This is second Mr. Pressure with Steel, and this build is made for the sentient or anti sentient This is without, without the Riven, but with a, bit of, with a little bit of uh, changes. First off, no gas uh, status, and we got the Corrosive on here on the status right here. And here is the damage for this uh, build. This will not utilize the heavy attack, mostly the normal attack. And again, I'm using Temporal this time, so you guys can see the, uh, the difference. Uh, I prefer Cleaving Whirlwind besides uh, Temporal because of the Spindle Wind, but this is actually not that bad. Temporal is actually another uh, must have. So those are the damage. Obviously, I have Corrosive and not Gas, that's why I do a little bit more damage than these guys. I'm gonna try to do different combos here. So I'm using another. I'm using a block attack while uh, attacking. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna show you guys the third build right now. All right, so here is the third build, and this build is made for the heavy attack, of course against sentience. Now you guys can modify this by a little bit. If you guys are not gonna be using, you're gonna be, if you guys are gonna be using a heavy attack but not against sentience, swap out sacrificial pressure for the regular pressure point because obviously you do a little bit more damage without that. But make sure you keep in the sacrificial steel. That's that's a must have. So I'm going to show you guys the damage on this. Alright, so here is the damage. Now keep in mind these are level 170. So obviously if they're level like what? 90, you're probably going to one hit them. If I do a jumping attack, maybe I can under hit. That's what damage it does. That's not much damage it does. Yeah, it's not worth it. Just use the uh, regular heavy attack. So that's the damage on the sentient. I'm going to show you guys the fourth build. And this time it's not going to be anti sentient this time. Alright, so here is the fourth and final build. Now, obviously, there's other builds out there, but these, the, the builds I'm showing you are pretty much the ones that are pretty good against uh, high levels, obviously. Pretty sure you guys can do like 60 60 status chance spawns and and fill it all up and just do condition orbital if you guys want to. However, this build is pretty much not that bad. Now, keep in mind that when it comes to my sacrificial steel builds on the previous melee weapons, those are just sacrificial steel without blood rush, obviously. And the reason why is because um, obviously you want to put blood rush on all your melee weapons. That's like a must have. For those that just want to use sacrificial steel with other uh, mods that doesn't rely too much on the combo multiplier that this uh, that my sacrificial steel builds will probably help you guys just by a tad bit. Otherwise, uh, Blurish will really, really help a lot because melee weapons are made for endless missions, and since you want to keep up the multiplier of the combo uh, as much as you can, obviously you want to get drift contact on that. So this build right here is pretty much you guys can interchange what mods you guys want. Now, obviously, I have multi impact because of condition overload, and when it comes to the combo duration at five seconds that is not bad not fine not bad at all 
But if you guys want to, you guys can replace condition overload. I mean, not uh, molten impact with drifting contact if you guys want. Uh, but obviously, I'm not going to show you guys that because I'm going to be fighting against a bunch of enemies. So I'm going to show you guys the damage it deals with the current combo uh, multiplier. So we have Blood Rush with Organ Shatter. Uh, second Richard still here with 99.2% chance of critical chance. That's not bad. Berserker, Shock and Touch here. Uh, so we got Corrosive with Heat. And Condition Overload for the status mods here. I'm going to show you guys how much damage it does against uh, Heavy Gunners. Now keep in mind these Heavy Gunners are level 170. And I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video that I do not use any Arcanes or Companions. But you guys can already see by the top right of the status I have there. So these are Heavy Gunners level 170. I'm going to show you guys the damage here. Now I'm using Temporal Royale. Usually Cleveland Roman would help a little bit more. But I'm just going to show you guys Cleveland Royale real fast. So notice that I already finished most of them up pretty quickly already at level 170. So those are the damage there. Now again, this build you guys can interchange the mods to different to different uh, mods. For instance, you guys can replace multi impact with Christian contact, or you guys want to get. Um, Status chance, you guys put it at 60 60 status chance. If you guys want more uh, status chance, up to you guys. But this build alone should uh, kill any level 170s within a few seconds. Obviously, you just got to build up the uh, just got to build up the status and, and, and whatnot. And look at that, I already kill them all instantly fast. So, those are the builds for the Parasites. Hopefully, this video helps you guys a little bit. I will do a little bit more or a lot more of these unique videos of weapons for instance Zenith or Azima I'll try to make videos for those since those are pretty unique so Paris is pretty unique because of the uh, mastery or not the mastery the mod capacity as well as being it being a sentient weapon I'll probably do Shady as well so keep in mind about that so thank you guys for watching subscribe to support my channel I'll be doing a lot more videos until we meet again you guys peace out